Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I went through enough, it don't matter. Um, listen, it's a football match and you have to play right to the death and we just probably lacked that little bit of concentration and maybe fatigue as well came into it but uh, but credit to my players, you know, they, they performed heroically I thought, you know, it's, it was always going to be difficult, it was never going to be an easy one and it wasn't going to be a game where we would create many chances but it's disappointing for them and I feel for them because effort is something you demand and ask for and there was no shortage of that from that group of players today. The way you organised it, it was kind of getting us about some Jose Mourinho teams away defended <laughs> like that. He was um, very glowing in his praise when he was spoke to us just there. Um, was that something you, you tried to do? Well, yeah, you learn along the way, you know, I've been in the game long enough to know that there are some teams you can take on and there's some that you've got to be careful with. And this 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 Man United team now is, is on a bit of a roll and and they are strong and, and really strong in, in the depth that they've got as well. But you've got to be committed to, to what you do yourself and you've got to have a, some kind of identity. And I thought uh, the whole City players today performed magnificently in all, all departments. I thought first half we, we tried to get at them a bit. We created a few chances. We had a few openings. We kept possession of the ball pretty well. And it was just a case of at the end we ran out of steam. Now you've got that game out of the way, it's obviously the international break. Do, do you plan to sit down with the, the prospective view owners and, and discuss your future? Well, we have to sit down sometime, brother. <laughs> and now we've no game coming up now for two weeks. I think it's vitally important that some decisions are made. Um, I don't think they'll shy away from that, but at this present moment in time, it depends on who you're talking to. You know, there seems to be not just one group, there's two groups, and then you've just got to get on with your job and, and wait for that, that moment when, when they ask to speak. When do you expect to, to do it? Well, we've got a transfer window coming up in the next, what's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Nothing happens on Monday, it's bank holiday. So we need to get those issues out of the way, get some players in here first, and then obviously my future will, will be, well, I'll probably decided after that. How difficult is it, Mike? Because obviously you've got outgoing owners, new ones come in, you don't know yourself with this transfer window just a couple of days to go. Well, I do know a few things, which is private to me. Um, what I do know is there's a lot of effort behind the scenes to try and, and get this uh, takeover over the line. And then also there's a little bit, a lot of effort or a little bit of effort going into to getting players into this football club to support those players that are putting a, a magnificent shift in for this football club right at this time. Um, Cardiff said today that bid had been accepted for David Marshall. We'll right. argue with that one. Well, we're hoping bids will be accepted by a lot of football clubs because we need football players in here. Um, we're out and active, we're trying to do our business, but at this present moment in time, nothing has been concluded on, on any football player. You know, we have medicals to do, we have all these things to put in place, and we need to get cracking and we need to get some names, we need to make some news for a change. And I think it's probably over a year since we last signed a, an outfield player at this football club. So. We need some, we need some. I wouldn't say help, but these players need a little bit of help, and I want to be able to say to them when they come back, you know, here they are. Let's crack on. It's a long, hard season, and we need more performances like that. Where are you with Ryan Mason? With who? Ryan Mason. We're nowhere with anybody apart from what I've just said. You know, we have to discuss, we have to talk, and it's going to be touch and go. So. It's going to go till midnight on Wednesday or midday Wednesday in some countries, and uh, hopefully we can uh, we can settle all those those issues that we've got in front of us. And we need we need football players. Robert uh, has got a, a sore calf. He picked a fight with a goalpost and he lost, so his calf's a little bit tight. He'll be assessed probably in the morning. Um, he has been called up for international duty, so so maybe he will go, have that looked at. But I don't see any real major issue with that, unless I've missed something from the medical team here. 
but he should be okay. It was just a precaution as well to bring him off because tight calves can lead to pull calves. Um, so we, we had to make that decision and bring him off. With a bell, it was just a case we were under the cosh a little bit and it was a case of, well, do we sacrifice a, a striker in order to try and give us some some depth, you know, at the back. You know, I noticed that Jose did the same as soon as he, uh, as soon as he got his goal up, he put Chris Smallin in there. We were no different. We just wanted to try and get through that last couple of minutes and it, it didn't work. Sorry guys, can I just get Jose's phone? <laughs> no, I'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might have a couple in there. A couple of free transfers, as that one was free, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean, You need to take work player. I don't think we can be particular anymore, you know. We're, we're in the market for, for, for players. You know, we have still have that 13 man squad. Yes, we have four or five injuries. Some of them are a little bit more long term than others. But we need to add. We need to add. You know, you need you need a squad if you're going to go through this. Prim well, certainly a squad to get you through to January. Anyway, um, we've made a great start. We need to back that up now with some some new players, just to give us a helping hand now to take us on and take us further. How well have these boys done this start? Oh, get given what you've, what you've got there. I've got nothing but praise for this group of players. You know, everything's been against them. You know, the spotlight's been on them. How they're going to react? What they're going to do? You know, they've conducted themselves really, really well in the media. And they now are at that point where they deserve a rest. You know, they, they deserve some time off, obviously, these internationals. But they will they will either play for the countries or they'll they'll rest whilst they're at the countries. We need to now give the other players that are left behind, which is probably about three or four of them, and give them a break as well, because they deserve it. And, uh, and we'll do that, then we regroup, and then we hopefully, you know, we can start getting serious about this league and, and try and not lose games in the last minute when you can make more quality substitutions. Okay. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Right, thank you're welcome. Oh, hey, lad. You're alright? You're alright? I'm not bad, yeah. I'll see you after. Yeah, you're not sure. Yeah, you're alright,